so well. Okay, here we go then. Back to the deep one. Just a quick capture in the old fast boat. Battleship. We're controlling most of the zones. Ah, hello there, Ivan. How are you doing? Smoke to cover my tracks. Another zone captured, we have the advantage. It's gonna got two torpedoes on board, so it would be rude not to at least fire them. Let's just see how far they go. Six kilometers. Target. Oh, this is ship up there. Bye. 
by Sean Watts. It's a different thing altogether. Right. Let's go into a battleship. Gunners are searching for airborne and surface targets.
Oh, good shot. Keep it up one. and victory will be ours. a good little warm up panel that's a staff on oh distinctive pilot Octopus, I hate those. Yes. Bomber, only not green bomber. That's better. Is there any special tasks? No, oh, I've done the special task. I need another one. I 
space. Same map again. <laughs> I'll try Mert, I'll try. Oh, I'm gonna land. No, got grounded. Ah, too busy trying to point him out. I'm not gonna come out of this. No chance. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna have to get out and push. Yeah, uh, <laughs> there's no two ways about it. I thought it would be clever just like highlighting the threat on the map and then for some reason I couldn't get back easily. So that all went wrong. I haven't been streaming for a little while so I thought it would really go. How are you doing Wolf? Doing well. Uh, got my Jet tasks done in multiple time this morning. Nice. Thinking about doing some four seven body boats in a little bit. Okay, well could maybe help with that. Like the torpedoes. So will that be um Going down the lineup of uh, the Imperial Japanese Navy by any chance? Oh, yeah, there's. They accept no substitute when it comes to torpedoes. <laughs> Today is very true. They are, uh, they are rather good. I think we should play 5 0 on that. 5 0? Yeah, Shimikasa, that kind of stuff. Or. Or. I actually saw with the Japanese is now because they have we have that event vehicle at 4-3. Could also be an option. The event vehicle. Oh yeah, that one. Yeah, and we got the other event vehicle as well, which is also 4-3, the American destroyer, right? 
get the tier two. Yeah, the, uh, that's the problem, isn't it? The tier two that won't work. Yeah. I am chomping at the bit to have that event vehicle, though. Don't you have it yet? Nope. Wow. I was out of town for the first few. So I already got it, and I got the camouflage for it as well. I just haven't actually played it. I can't wait. But it, it, I mean, it looks pretty good. I think it gets it's the 16 tops, you know. Double loadout in the middle. And you've got um, three times dual turret, main guns. Yes. to uh, guide him. Let's see. They'll have me as a content creator. I don't know if they will let me in here. I thought you were uh, saying if they would pick you up by key director. Well, it says you have to have um, an average of thousand views per video because I made a loads of these short video they all have over a thousand right I don't know if that counts or not but also I've got quite a stack of I should say more than two videos that has half that time so mm, yeah I don't know I mean maybe they don't know maybe this just in the time period that you can abuse shorts as a uh, as a medium to gain the required viewership before they realize shorts are maybe not the uh, format they want. Well, I don't know if it is an easy because a lot of people watch things on their mobile phone, don't they, when they're like going home from work or whatever. Because you can see that's when they go up in viewership so I just put one on today and between four and five which is sort of normal commuter time you know in the afternoon here in the UK right it had like four or five hundred views or something like that. Oh, I'm jealous. I don't get to start commuting until five. <laughs> Playing my battleship, I haven't done that for a while, so I'll finish my event in this one just soon now. So I need max damage, and that's a chance that uh, in a battleship you also get uh, to be number one on the team, right? I can do that any team, I guess. Oh, I always do it in 3 3. Yeah, there is that as well. You choose well Japanese, uh, three, then. three of the German one. Japanese. Hmm. I've got the Akebo now. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, and somebody's about to put an overshield on. You gotta finish him off. YouTube um, stream, 
Does this show up as the title as War Thunder Naval Stroke Battleships? Yes. Okay. That's what I want this to do. For some reason I can't do it straight from OBS. I have to go in and do it in the uh, say web portal. Careful when you're throwing the picky grenade near people with deployed shield. Careful when I do what? If you're throwing a plasma grenade near someone's deployed shield equipment, yeah. and the plasma grenade hits the shield, it will immediately explode. Okay. I assume that's not War Thunder, that's Halo? That is Halo. Right. Slowing down. He is destroyed. Got him. I just need an easy target. This last kill. <laughs> I know from experience that keep shooting and that can take a while. Only allowed me to just kick the shot off. Should have seen what we were able to achieve with the power of positivity last night. Right. Fancy a game of battleships? I will give it a try. I will try. Yeah, go on. I will spend 80,000 silver lines. What are you moaning you about? You've got a fantastic battleship. Almost there. Just waiting for you to load in. Uh, there we are. Send you an invite. There should be one pending. But what you need to do is just to get down the German line and get the Schoenhorst. You would like that, it got torpedoes with it. That's really cool. Torpedoes are nice. Mm-hmm. Give me a second. Bring a Shimikaze just in case. She 
Mikasa and Kuma and yeah, PDO2. They'll have the PDO2 oh, in there. I never leave home without one. <laughs> it's true. My disappointment that the Tone does not have float planes is immeasurable. Well, surely that is just a question of time. We were trying to help Desert with his uh, tasks last night and did 5-0 cruisers it was quite fun slinging float planes with the setsu not the setsu the uh, sendai oh that has float planes okay normally you play 5 or play the americans and of course the detroit gets two of them And that's basically an OS2 Kingfisher, right? Well, they're nothing special, but they they can capture a point and all that kind of good stuff. I mean, the one on the shore horse is uh, is pretty useful. Got half decent guns and seem to climb better than most of the others. Uh, clearly the German Arado float plane is far and above the best so far. I mean, how good can the float plane get on these ships? Because they're after all float planes, right? You take that back. <laughs> I took out the H8K3 earlier. I guess it was last night. Went two for two with my torpedoes. So that's a little bit big to be float planed off of a boat. Yeah. yeah. Have you played a game called Escape from Tarkov? I have not. I've seen a lot mm. of our members playing it, though. And I've been looking at it, and I'm not quite sure whether it's of interest or not. It seems to be a hardcore military shooter. I enjoyed my early days of PUBG and I think my days of sneaking around and popping out from behind corners at people in a in a mill sim is probably behind me. I'll uh, I'll stick to my Halo. Yeah, Halo is fun. I like Halo. Have you done most of the single player campaign? Uh I don't really know how far into it I am given that it's non-linear but well, that's true you're just sort of like running around I'm on the <laughs> I was going to say I'm well, on the west side of the island but that's not true because you're kind of on this ring aren't you so I've done a bit in the one end and a bit in the other um, and it's all been quite fun to run around and, and do things that's Some really big time. ravine I was unable to jump over, but I had a bit of fun. Won't stop you from trying, though. Hmm. 
I have tried a lot and I have gone ah, down the cliff quite a lot as well. So. Spawning south. Spawning Shimakaze and seeing what happens. I am told that if you come with a float plane, the float plane, plane counts as an extra vessel in the point. Okay. Even if it's on board the ship or just if you launch it? You launch it and land it in the circle. Figure out the battleship I'm currently engaged for. I think it's a. Uh, a row. Flint Constant. Oh. I, I, I hear. I detect a Debo, I think. You do detect a Debo. Uh -huh. That's Mr. Debo today. Debo is great. Are we streaming? We are, I am streaming, yeah. I'm on the, on the YouTube of things. On the YouTubes? Yes, playing yeah, battle boats. What you say on YouTubes, otherwise you get the bands. Uh, be careful now. Be nice. I'm trying to... I applied for content creator status with Gaijin, so... See how it goes. They responded yet? Glory nope. to the snail. I sent it in a couple of days ago. I saw, what do we uh, have to have to the BCCs? You have what to you have, have to a thousand views per video, roughly, on average, in the last month or so. But because I've done lots of these shorts, of course, I got easily got that. But also, many of my normal videos are above that, so... Nice! No, that, that's fantastic! Nice! So, whether it will fl fly or not, I don't know. Uh, well, you apply it and we'll, we'll see what, what we get. Yeah. The worst I can say is no. That exactly. is true. Or say nothing, uh, but... Daph, I bought the new computer. Oh, what did the you get? Computer. I will. Well, I'm, I'm getting already here. I'll I'll share it. Just tell us a spec. I'll just I'll just share the Best Buy page. There it is. They they put it on sale for thirteen hundred bucks. Everywhere else on the planet finally got uh, access to this thing, and they're they're selling it for like two thousand or more. So I was like, "Hey, I want it." Fifteen hundred seems quite decent for a good gaming laptop. Yeah, it's got a Ryzen nine and a RX sixty eight hundred in it. So getting that for less than two grand is a steal. That's, that that sounds good. Yeah. Sixty eight hundred. That's the latest, right? In mobile. Yeah, six, the, well, sixty nine is the latest, but they don't have any any laptops with the sixty nine. So you, your no, only option no. is the sixty eight. Yeah. And there's only there's only one laptop that has a sixty eight, and it's the the ROG Strix. Um, the, either the fifteen or the seventeen, but no one has seventeen ever in stock. And so the I got the fifteen, mm -hmm. which is like I said for fourteen hundred, man. Like that's it was that's a good sad. deal. What's the weight of this thing? How much of a brick is it to carry around? Uh, so it's not the Zephyrus, so it's not as light. It's not the lightest thing that they make, but it's it's quite portable. Alright. Uh, let's go to... 
Daffy. And good chip. I've just been a little slow this morning, or this evening, whatever this is. I just woke up and kind of feeling sick. Well, it's kind of that. Uh, it's kind it's of a bad time to be kind of feeling sick. It is a good, bad time to be kind of feeling sick, isn't it? I went out for sushi and a bowl yeah. for lunch, and I passed the testing center. It was wrapped around the parking lot backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards, and there was a crossing guard having to direct traffic in and out of it. No, I'm just I'm just having allergy issues. I woke up with a headache and shit. I took my allergy meds and everything was fine. But yeah, I woke up this morning and I had a really bad headache, so I just went right back to bed. I was like, I was gonna work from home today, but instead I just went back to bed. Keep it up. The victory will be ours. You have the freedom to do that. Well, I did. I did every, pretty much all my work for the week yesterday. I hate that feeling. Show up to work, get all your work done in the first hour, and then you have to twiddle your thumbs for the rest of the day. Yeah, it's like, well, shit, now what do I do for the rest of the week? Yeah. But yeah. Nothing worse than being a board engineer. Bad things happen when you're engineer. That, board try engineer. being a board intern at a company that you don't want to work at. Well, they really like the Especially, uh, I, I, I do like what I, where I work at, but I mean, it's not, it's not my, it's not my field. And I do, I did just get hired for my field. I just have to wait till May to go work. So to May. That, that's, yeah. And the project starts in May. Problem is, board engineers are dangerous. Okay. So what are you doing until then? Staying the way you work for market time. Like Amazon, but for wholesale. We're not that big yet, but we're getting there. We only have, I think, I think we actually we bought out our, our only major competitor. And there's another company that's kind that could be considered our competitor that's much larger than us, but they they're not really our competitor because they don't do the same thing we do. Yeah, we're getting big. Most of the market, we own a, a good chunk of most of the market in the U.S. We we're in Brussels now, and now we're extending to Dubai. Maybe you need to go to Dubai and have a little look around. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to make sure that I have stock before I leave, and then I'm going to leave and let them make me money. Do they have a stock ticker or are they private company? We're, we're, we're still private, but employees get stock. Yeah. Since our, our uh, we, we just recently acquired a company that was three times our size, and uh, they had stock options, so now we have stock options. <laughs> yeah. We have so many bots in this match. I gotta talk to the uh, the CEO before I leave. Uh, I actually know him pretty well, but I talked to him and asked him about uh, about you know what do I need to do to, to buy stock? Like what what's his what's his minimum? You guys got room for one after this match? Yeah, but if we are going in all four, I suggest we perhaps don't do battleships because well, I'm, I'm doing planes at the moment. I'm finishing up my aircraft. Okay. So we're doing what? Oh sweet, that's what I was just doing. Yeah, I just uh, won a match for my PK and I went around a corner and half the team quit. That's how it works. <laughs> I guess, I guess B's mine. <laughs> Cancer car, meet Italian cancer car. I win. <laughs> Little skidzy things. Yeah, two of them came around the corner trying to cap a point, but I was already there and I gunned them down. 
Are we doing a gunship? What are we doing? PKs or short horses? I'm in the PK. Alright, I'll do PK as well. Excellent. Doing the damage. Victory is close. But if you don't get a battle in five minutes, you're gonna down to it four seven. Gotcha. Are you waiting on a match? No, we can't be finishing it. Oh. I get what you're saying, if it takes too long, you'll just downgrade VR. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm also streaming at the moment. It's even worse for people bossing a stream to watch the time go around. It's bad enough if you're right. playing. Oh, that's <coughs> pretty Watch Gunship's videos drop to nothing. Well, they do, I mean, that's understandable. Not understandable, they should be loyal viewers. They can sit around yeah, and watch CNN GMT all day if it's got nothing on it, then they can sit around <laughs> and watch you all day. I, I thought CNN was a bit of a swear word. In the, US. the whole point is why I used it as an example. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Same goes with Fox, too. Uh, that, that disabilities <laughs> issue with the COP26. They're all assholes. They're, they're ableist on top of everything. They're ableist. <laughs> oh. People who are prejudiced against the disabled are ableist. The enemy ship sank. Get rid of him. <laughs> I killed a G5 with a broadside from a Paris commuter. That was slightly overkill. <laughs> well, it, effective, effective. I guess. Go away, wherever wins. You can't hit me. You can't hit me. Well, I got my torpedo kill with this plane, but now I'm still nowhere to land on this map, right? Uh, that's correct. No, there is places to land. Look on the map. Right now, you can. Fly. 40 miles away? Yeah, yeah, that, that might be the thing. You can fly. Oh, somebody now. passed me! Oh, you died by somebody. I was gonna be first. Sent. They have to be player vehicles. Yes. That's why I'm killing things in my low tier tanks. Yeah. In my plane. I'm not even going to try and sling torpedoes at battleship tier since like two thirds of the matches. I have been in previous two matches I was in before this one that was like loads of players per side. Friendship, were you enjoying murdering low tier players with your T fifty five earlier? In in tank RB? I did all of my planes today in the Thunder Chief. Nice. Uh, it took me a bit of time to do, but I was I pretty much got it spaded now. Um at least all the uh, what's to say the, the speed modifications, you know, maneuverability and whatnot. That's there. Only thing I need is a few rockets and stuff like that, but apart from that, it's there. Started my uh, day off with an ace in the Thunder Chief. Nice. So it was kind of just fun hunting things around, because it's, it's 
fully upgraded for speed, it's, it's pretty quick. Even if you are carrying bombs as well. Yeah, you can sit there and outrun MiG-21s at high altitude and mm. A5Cs and... Yeah. Well, the, the aim ease could be slightly better, I guess, but... They're good enough. At 9.7, well, it's, it's doable. Yeah, they're, they're good enough, but uh, also with gunship as well. They could be better, but... It just takes me a while to, to remember how to use them properly, but once once I remember how to use them, they're they're good. It's just I'm so used to just hitting the the go button on the M9J or the G. Yeah, because you can, right? They will track where these ones you can. Yeah. Uh, you have to think about the angle, right? Yeah, the M9Es you have to you have to manually line up the angle. But if you if you do it right, you manually line up the angle, and there's no way they can dodge it. And you're now on a fast enough platform that you can really just deliver deliver it to their front door. And... Yes, you can you can pull them in, right? They think, oh, I'll speeding along here. Yes, that's fine, but I'm gaining on you. And uh, while you're flying in a straight line, I will send you a present. <laughs> and if yeah. they dodge your missile, well, yeah. I'm sorry. That's uh, it's gonna be a burt for you. Right. Now, uh, where do you guys want to spawn? Middle or top? Yeah. Or... I'm gonna go middle. Oh, I have been shot this down at. Whatever shall I do, gunship? Should I spawn my backup G55? That would be rude <laughs> not to. I mean, I got three kills with my R3 before I died, so I've got enough points. <laughs> yeah. All German little scout cars and headsers, they just die. You're killing a headsers? How could you? It was great. I killed it with one burst. I just raked it across the side with the R3. Just brrr, kill all of his crew. Well, you are not supposed to allow enemies next to you in a headser. I wasn't really next to him. I was about 200, 300 meters away. When people have a little joystick paddle on them, that means they are on Xbox, is that right? That means that their account was originally registered to an Xbox or a PlayStation. It doesn't necessarily mean that they play on it, like a CIA Demolisher, who one of our guys, he uh, he originally registered his account on the Xbox, but he plays it on his computer. Because they did that transfer thing where you could move the Xbox account to your computer, but they didn't do it where you could move your PC account to the Xbox. They're just assholes. Because be I would that. be doing that. It's crazy. Uh, the greedy snail doesn't want to share its profits with Microsoft. That's what it is. Well, it seems fair. It is fair. It's absolutely fair. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, what? To have account merger, we have to share profits? I don't think so. Oh, I uh, played Galactic Rock Miner yesterday because there was some Game Pass. I had a little go of that. Elite Dangerous? No, it's, um, you you run around. It's very colorful, and you mine rocks, and then you shoot that creatures. That sounds like Elite Dangerous to me. Yeah, but it isn't Elite Dangerous at all. It's very very far from Elite Dangerous. It's quite a small download as well. And the new Left for Dead or whatever it's called multiplayer, that's also a part of Game Pass. So lots of titles on Game Pass actually. I just think that their shop window into what games they have is not very good. That could be better. You could learn a thing or two from. I really Steam. wish heavy tank players would finally figure it the fuck out that they shouldn't be rushing caps and that they should go and actually go fight the enemy. Instead of trying to rush caps and crying when when lighter vehicles get the cap first, like their job is to fight the enemy and earn other points that way. Their job is not to cap points because when they do that, they put us they put us way out of position to fight the enemy. You know, when all your heavy tanks congregate on one point mm -hmm. in the corner of the map. We actually had, I mean, it was it was an example of how to play. Heavy tanks. There's, there's the issue of spawn points, though. 
and I think that's why they do it, Diva. There's no other ways of, of, of gaining early spawn points and try to get to a cap point. You don't still get spawn points for getting for bouncing shots, do you? Not anymore. See, that's like the way to get spawn points in a heavy tank, and I feel like yeah. it's really yeah. counter to the concept. That's the, they got rid of it whenever they added the nuke because uh, it was the way to get the nuke too. Was just to sit there because you remember you only need 2,500 spawn points, right? So if you're on a Tiger II or you know one of the, one of the he heavier tanks like a T34 or whatever, and you're angled just right, you can you can bounce shots all day and get and get the nuke without actually really doing anything. I don't see a problem with that because I mean that's the enemy team play yeah. into your your hands there. Bad bomb on my part. Yeah, I, I agree, 100%, but yeah, they, they took so, it out so with what that. It, what it does, it leans the whole gameplay into all these light tanks, right? And I yeah. think that's wrong. I mean, people are, are uh, playing tanks think... because they want the good old heavy tanks, and what they're presented with is a shitload of light tanks from another era coming and shooting with them, and it's like... What, the, what they could do is... Terrible do gameplay, one... really. One, like you said, they need to get rid of the light tanks. Like, the fact that I can use my R3 at 4.7 is stupid. Uh, but um, just like you and your Kamuna, I'm going to abuse it until they fix it, right? Well, that is... Yeah. Maybe they just don't care. I mean, maybe that would be... I mean, but they do care because it's been moved up in VR like seven times since it came out. <laughs> it was a 1.0 when it came out. <laughs> But you have things like the, the Marder A1 yeah. tank. I mean, that's a little troll tank, right? Because it's really hard to spot. Yeah. Like, the, the R3 was originally like a 1 point something. It was like a 1.3 or 1.7. And now it's a 4.7. And it's probably going to keep going up. And it needs to. It needs to be a 6.0. But quite honestly, I think I think honestly it should probably be like a 70. I think all the R the R3s and all the that era's vehicles should be 70 plus. But until they until they fix it, that's how it is. One, one way that they could stop the light tank focus, because what a lot of players do, is they spawn light tanks in, especially lower lower level light tanks, and they rush a cap to get uh, cap it. That way they can get into a plane. So if they just made everything, uh, what is that, the battle mode where you have the two big caps, then you don't have that issue anymore. Got eyes on a Sharnhorst. Yeah. Because that's exactly what I just did in my R3. I rushed the cap, got it, and then I drove across the map and that sprayed bullets at everybody. I honestly just bought him down to 33% in the ring, that's what killed him. So of course, did he right. fire? I think he jayed out. I thought they. I don't think I thought, he jayed uh, out. I think it's just like a, the way that it displays it. Didn't they make it? Uh, did they fix that issue where if they jay out, it doesn't give you credit? Mm, I have got some points, well done, but that could be from the previous game. Our victory is near. No, like, cause like, there, there was, and I noticed this too the other day. I, I hit somebody with my, uh, my battleship, and. Uh, Devastating, crippling blow, and they just jade out, and it counted against. It, it just said that they crashed, basically. Yeah, you just get that star thing, you know. Yeah, it's just like so and so crash, so you don't get credit for it. Putting some AP rounds on this Sean horse. Let's we'll see how. Goodbye, Mr. Wing. No, I'll try and use the um, HC shell afterwards. Just after the next reload. Just to see what that does. Yeah. Is that what you recommend? No. No, he's just perfect. So, the HC round gets 55 kilos of filler. Same as an AP round. Oh, Sean lost this down to 13%, so I might have hit him. I killed him. 
think we were I shooting at different Sharn horse. Horse. Okay. I got supportive fire. You should uh, shoot this Sharn Horse next. You should also share how you killed the Sharn Horse. What'd you kill him with? Well, I sh uh, shot him with uh, AP first. Or oh, sap rounds, sorry. The sap rounds. Oh, you're using your Kamuna right now, aren't you? Yeah. Mean, evil bastard. What do you mean? Mean, evil human being. Oh, he's looking at me now. Victory is close. Hey, he's got so much armor. I'm actually gonna put K50 heli pads on. What else do I have to worry about? Wouldn't that be funny? I would kill him two K fifties on me. Oh god. I got you. It's not like the Kamuna is OP at all in any way, sense, or form. We both know he got Russian bullshit rounds, okay? Polished Russian rounds. That was a direct hit from a 14 inch shell on it. And on it, the turret. It's made out of stellinium. So it's got to be good. And linantonium. Don't forget it's got depleted linantonium in the it's armor as well. Depleted linantonium. Guy down to 75%. Uh -huh. Send him some more lead in a minute. Please do. That was killing me something. So you're getting a nice broadside on him here. Uh, he's gotten out of my view. Alright, He's at 73%. Looking to the wrong side. That's what I'm saying. So, what'd y'all buy for the Christmas sale? I want to hear it. I got the dragon. You got the dragon? Okay, that's nice. I. So what fun. do you think about the dragon? Because I didn't want to buy it because I think the missiles are shit. A little more effort and victory will be you, don't, you don't use the dragon for missiles. You use it for the guns. You use it for the pew pew. Yeah, it is a great gunfighter. Until I get out turned by an F8. Yeah, don't do that. Just, just don't, don't engage the F8 then. Yeah. The one thing you have to know is F8 bad. <laughs> Stay away. Yeah, I, I like dogfighting dragon players because they think they're they're so uh, their plane is so maneuverable, and then it's like, oh, but I have real maneuverability. Let me show you. It's it's terminal maneuverability like that. I think last those Russian forms might have done amazing. something to this ship. The last he's second down to thirty nine percent now. He's yeah, definitely that, that sinking. Last... the Sean Horse there. Yeah. yeah, you talk about that that uh that last second when it starts to stall out, and just falls falls over. No, 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 like... no, just like right. Uh, yeah. Well, we're talking about the dragon still. Yeah. It's like right at the last second when you're about to overshoot somebody, you just pull a little bit harder. And the plane just obliges. The enemy ship sank. I'm all shown down. Look at that. Gunship's doing good work. No, thank you, sir. I shall try hard. Yeah. The Sharn Horse is obviously okay not OP the because, the, yeah, because the PK still exists. <laughs> yeah, that Vondertan, I uh, guess, didn't put out a fire? Maybe. Did he just detonate? Yeah. Ship is drifting out of out of the correct angle though. Don't like this. Sap did not agree with that North Dakota. The enemy ship sank. I now oh. have my Zara too, so I'm one ship away from my Dante. I feel that North Dakota just insta exploded and I hit him. Yeah, he wasn't doing so hot. No. Keep it up and victory will be ours. Any more battleships? Or have I cleared the field of engagement? How many stars do we need for the MiG? Is it 15 or is it 12? I think it's 11. Is it only 11? Oh, that's right, because I think there's only 12 this time, right? Yeah, there's always only 12. 
Uh, I thought there used to be 15 on some of them. Oh shit! Scream that out loud on Gunship Stream. Big hits on a poor British destroyer. You're being a bully to them, are Finally, become a content creator. One thing you need to stress in your videos: Gaijin needs to make it to where uh, the targeting distance for planes is not set by a count, but set by aircraft. Like on some of my aircrafts, I would like it to have a targeting distance of like 500, or 600. But on my jets, I wanted it at 800. I wanted it way, way up. Yes, I know what you mean. Because if you're in a zero, you, you know, it seems 800 seems a little wrong. Like if you're in the zero or the Spitfire, stuff like that, you want it at like 200. I wouldn't know it goes quite low as that, but 4, 600 seems quite reasonable. Enterprise is about to have a bad day. Just keep it up, and victory will be ours. The enemy ship. The, uh, one of the best Spitfire 8s of all time, Gunship, used his, uh, his, uh, uh 250 meters is what he said it to. The Battle of Malta. Um, I'm struggling to remember his name right now. But he was very famous because he uh, he also didn't use tracers. He used essentially stealth belt. He took all the tracers out of his uh, out of his Spitfire. Yeah. He was sent to Malta as a punishment because he was a he was a douchebag and he was you know, a troublemaker. And so they sent him to Malta as a punishment and he got stuck there during the siege. And he's a uh, Responsible for shooting down a, a vast majority of the German and Italian aircraft that, that attacked Malta. There's a show host. Point out. You see that? I can't target it. Hey, oh, there might be something there. in there. That one? Yeah, that's him. That's a him, okay. It's a him. Okay. Looks like a pot shot. Yep, I hit him. Oh yeah. Oh, Mr. Shard first. He's got the bottle gun on him. I think this is his blue plane, thanks to me. He just lost a float. Very active for him. To be fair, the Sean Horse doesn't cost much to uh, to repair. It's only 30,000 or something. On fire. Yeah, seventy one. Yeah, I probably should finish spading out my Sharn horse before it uh you probably gets should. booped all the way up. But I've been I was kinda holding out because I was I was I'm expecting Turpitz or Bismarck to be behind Sharn Horse, but at the same time I guess it won't because it's it, they moved the battle cruiser thing, didn't they? I got the feeling it won't be. Okay. We'll, go, we'll go behind one of the others. Oh, I might get my sure. first win of the day. I'll speed up the charm horse once I have uh, Dante. Well, we won that last match. No, but you need to have the win the match and be first in your team, right?
death. I'm gonna go live. Should take a look at my sneaky R3. Only I had bushes on it, it'd be better. But we are sneaky R3. Okay. Oh, there. I got one of them, so it was the first win. Nearly done the damage. So we need to win three more games. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Then I go get torpedo kills. In matches that are not full of bots. So that's what the engine on the R3 sounds like. I thought it sounded like accordion music. <laughs> So the R3 used to use to be able to use it gun like non-stop. Well, now, now it stops after a while. No, it's always had that. Uh, it's always had the belt. I thought it lasted a lot longer. It jams faster now. Oh right, okay. I I think I think though what it used to be is they they had it they had it in two belts. Now they have it in four belts. So it used to it used to oh, be able okay. to use two yeah, belts. Yeah. So you had you had one, and then you would reload, and yeah, it, yeah. Might, it might have been one whole belt, and then they cut it into two, and then then they cut it into four. Mm, I think so, because it used to just be go 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 all the time. I think it was just one belt to start off with. I think that's true. Hi. <laughs> Ow! Ow! Overkill. It's okay. I will avenge myself. Mm. I'm gonna have a second monitor soon. It's gonna be nice. Hmm. I have been looking at my phone now and then. Let me ask you guys this: Should, when I when I get the new laptop, I was thinking about just leaving it closed and running it on off of a dock. But I can still I... run it off a dock and leave it open too. So I'm trying to decide how how I should arrange my my desk for it. Right, I gotta take the one, two, three out to the B point. This is a quick cap. <gasps> BE eights have just spawned. Okay, gotta fill up in the semi castles. So he's probably gonna fill up the A. There's no end of torpedoes. TTO2? Uh, dead drum. TTO2, in the flesh, the real one. The real one. No, wait, no, they're all real ones. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I think I got a PTO2 in an opening scene of one of my videos. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I think it's actually in a couple of them. I know you got my caco. Mm hmm. No. And there's the one where we did the uh, the plane boats. Yes. So when we get finished with this sort of event thing that we are currently running off, they're running. I was thinking about doing another squadron event. That'd I wonder whether we should repeat one of the ones we've already done or figure something else out. I had a thought about yeah. battleships a while back, but I can't, I can't remember what it was. I'll have to DM you if I if it comes back to me. It's a shame that we don't have enough enough uh, top level players to do it, but we could do an Independence Day thing where we have guys in like low low tier fighters with aim nine Bs, and guys with with like the Comet and the uh, and the Ki two hundred flying around. We could do. Uh, Something like Starnhorst versus um, Swordfish, but you can't use AI gunners. 
So the Shrine Order says the I've man written is on this a without AI gunners. I will, I will tear you apart. I mean, that thing is so well specked out. The those long and medium range guns. Yep, we'll kill you with our army of swordfish. Yeah, that's the thing. Like that's that's where the balancing is. You can't use your AI gunners, so you'd have to select your targets and be efficient about it. Hmm. And if there's 15 so if of I'm us... in my shan hole, so the rest of you is coming in swordfish, and you think Ring can take me down? That will be an interesting one. I'm like, man, we could do that. Especially if they arrange it to where every every uh, swordfish attacks from a different direction. Yeah, that's where your uh, your swordfish leaders. Yeah, that's where you can all spawn in and. Okay, you could do that on the Norway map, so you don't have to fly too far. Yep, the, uh, Potentially. Got a red leader and blue leader and different flights of swordfish. Uh, R3 looks a little toasty. Somebody hit me with a artillery around, like like dead first strike was already on me. Well, we did I didn't do know the rooster. I probably should go and do it. the rest of these in ARB. I will do this. Uh, so I just had to kill that uh, float plane. Um, we did do an event at one point where I, I was in the PK one day, and we had these German torpedo. But they didn't, they didn't kill the PK. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little disappointed in my leadership on that one. Uh -huh, I, I so failed the leader to of the torpedo brigade are looking for a revenge. Well, I think we have to yeah. do a bit of testing first, okay? Ooh. And see how much damage you can do against a Sean Horse, and then see if it's balanced, and then we can create an event based on that. I, I know one we could do. B-17 against reserve planes. Or B-29, or TU-4 against reserves. I'll fly... I'll fly my TU-4. I'll, I'll even... I'll even finally shell out and buy my stock Chinese TU-4 and fly that. Against biplane. What do you say? Give it a go. U4 is a little fast to have biplanes go against. I can I can throttle down. Another thing I saw we could do, this is not particularly speaking name, it's pretty really fun to do, would be to have some kind of planes attacking. German planes attacking B-17 bombers or something like that, just flying in that type formation. They did have a, um, a limited time event where that was exactly what they did. I thought it was a lot of fun. Hmm. They used to do that. They used to happen this time of year, like around Christmas every year. They would have the uh, the Bass Battle of Bastogne, and they would have uh, B-17s uh, being intercepted by... Uh, Messerschmitt oh, no. and yeah. and and one like like the one oh nines, the the squabbles, all of it. Like it was and the, you had the you had to escort your B seventeens and P fifty ones or P forty sevens and the enemy was all flying in two oh twos. I also used to Hello wait there. every year for the uh for the Pearl Harbor event. No PTF-7 buddy for you. Hmm. All right, let's see. <laughs> Defiant. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to do it in my 109 this time. That was a horrendously bad shot. Number nine has some funny colors on the tail. It does have some funny colors on it. My Hungarian, yeah, Hungarian. I feel the enemy has gone into hiding here. There's even lots of them. There's not even a single bot in this game. Where the hell are they gone? 
connected here, Sam. There are a bunch of them steaming towards A. Which unfortunately means I just turned my turrets to the wrong side. What? I guess I missed. Not the best at bombing anymore. Used to be. You should have arrived for the Zeros versus Battleships event. That was a good event, wasn't it? Zeros versus I like that. Just yeah, and then that happened. Bombs. That, was that good. happened right before the uh, the Battle Pass challenge for getting kills with those bombs. Mm. Let me tell you, I didn't miss after that event. <laughs> I, I tell you what, this this uh, we could now we got the Sean Horst, right? We could do a similar event where you have to attack the Sean Horst. That could be fun. But the, what would be fighting the Sean Horst? Yes, but often you would have to find some kind of uh, ally planes to bomb them instead. The small bombs. Maybe P forty Warhawks with just the tiny ones. Something like that. That could be fun. Sharnhorse is tough. I bet yeah, you could get away from five hundred. It'd be tougher than the Paris Commune. And better AA. So let's say we had a couple of Sean Horses and then... What did we have in the last one? Because we had four ships, didn't we? We, got, we had Helena and Baltimore. Baltimore. Yeah, and stuff like that. Okay, so we might have... I think we had have... a Cleveland. Yeah. Well, well, I reckon if we got um, a couple of Sean Horses, that would be good. Maybe three. That was a one-shot on a on a Mogami. Yeah, but Mogami, they don't like when you hit them hard. They get, they get, they get broken. Ooh, I got a battleship here. Uh, I just gotta do a little turning, I can shoot at him. I believe it's a Hyuga. That looks like a Hyuga. Yeah, and there's another one as well. See, I see it. Okay, Hugo down to 69. Nice. Got a fellow Sean horse struggling. Don't you worry, my friend. Shall come to your assistance at once. You take the damage, and I will just do the shooting. Let's see if that works for me. Oh, Hugo's done. Little Wyoming. So he's there. It's not your day. It's definitely not your day. You know, if it was your day, your day has just changed a little bit. Your itinerary includes a visit to the bottom. Hitting on the bus. A bit more lead. I thought he'd come to a stop. I was going to say fire amidships, but he put it out. M109s just aren't fast enough to chase down P-47s like a, like a G-55 is. That was a good one. One shot. Suck. One not bullet and muffet. His name was Siegel, and he's a Russian player, which means his real name is Chaika. I find it oddly appro uh, appropriate.
appropriate for the the name of the most annoying plane in the game. The most annoying it's also plane. Also, the name of the one of the most annoying birds in the sky. Is that the Tu two by any chance? No, the the Chica is the uh, the I one five three. One of the most heavily abused like planes for beating up on the gear. Should do the 153P. You even be even more of an asshole, you mean? <sighs> Plane challenge is done. I feel I'm in a target rich environment and the game is nearly over. This is not good. It again. Wait, you don't have that much. No, I don't Diva, what are you doing? I am buying things. Do you need to go back to Green School of e Economics? <laughs> uh, remember, I actually had more money than Green recently, and I spent it all. I earned thirty-seven thousand or thirty-seven million over the last two months, and I've spent all of it. By the way, Green has been sitting on the 30 million for years. I earned it all and spent all of it. Yeah, well, Green's old money. <laughs> you know how I did it, Staff? You know how I did it? Glorious Nippon Steel? A combination of Makuma, uh, what was it? Yoigen. And of course, Helena. Because Helena makes you buku butts. Buku money. I've made so many lines playing my 4.7 Japanese lineup. No, you just gotta use the Makuma, the battleship killer. I don't actually have the Makuma. <gasps> How do you it's the Makuma? only Japanese boat I don't have. How do you not have it? It is the battleship killer. Think Azuzuyo that actually makes you money. Say it ain't so. No. It's Ooh, Azuzuyo that, that only has a 10k repair cost instead of a fucking, what is it, 50? 22. Well, I'm ready so we can get back in. Is it only 22? Oh, hold on, I gotta repair. Uh, Somebody needs to what? repair. Got it. What the... This is not the game mode I requested. So I don't have the Type 14 Mod 1, and I don't have the Satsuki. But I also don't have the Bakuma. Those are the only three Japanese ships I don't have. All right, again. Oh, I'll try the same boats before. again. Yeah. Need to buy the new Italian premium destroyers, and once I do, I'll own all of the Italian Navy again, except for Dante and the new one. So, but that's not going to be taking. It's not going to take me too long to get those. Uh, and I don't have these two things yet. Because it takes you 2,000 years to get enough points to get a Sayetta. I was gonna add that I got my Sayetta before they split the tree. Split? Yeah. And also I was really happy that I got also the Jaguar, the German one. Because that would have been nearly impossible to get as well. I mean, I played the Jaguar a lot with my Germans. So I just have nowhere near the, like the 206, for example. Like, like I, I want the Blackpool and the Leopard. 
like for the British, but it, they're impossible <laughs> to get because you, you can't grind up there to them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, if you're a content creator, you get a contact with a guy you can talk to. So you might be able to feed a few suggestions that way. I don't know. Well, no, Wait, I'll make a list. Russian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll make the list, gunship. There will, there will be a list of demands. <laughs> One of them being that they have to hire Mag as the authenticator to make sure that all their, their vehicles are properly done. Oh, he would love that, wouldn't he? Let me tell you, Jack was doing pretty good with being our historical accuracy checker last night. Mm. Yeah, Jack's, getting, Jack's pretty good at it now. He was going in the Google searches all night. Well, the short we have turns. three Sean Horse on our side. Four? Three at the top, one down below. Yeah. Yeah. I see a Huga. And a Sharn horse. Well, I certainly do hope that they got battleships on the other side, otherwise they are truly stuffed. Yeah, it looks like they got at least three over here. Aircraft. Oh, you gonna need help over there? Another aircraft, here they come again. Yeah, got him too. Oh, I almost lost that fight. But you didn't, so that's all good. I don't know how I did. I here to a 6M with the 57s on the back. I'll have annoyed I'd... a few people because you know, like start shooting big shells. At Take me. him down. Same here. Got a big line of smoke between me and anybody spawning. Always a PT boat sailing alongside the big ships. Gunners are searching because for it thinks it's the big ship. I wonder if they're squatted up and that this is just their repair boat. Repair boat. <laughs> yeah, I, I think the parts for the ship are bigger than the PT boat. 
nonsense. Oh, it's another 206. Maybe they're maybe they know something we don't know, and they're practicing brandy shipments. Us. They're practicing ah. staying silhouetted so they can fire their AT ship missiles and then hide. Oh, nice kill there, Daft. Got him too. Oh no. This Helena is actually protecting his little parts boat. There is no saving the parts boat, though. Are you really bullying a little parts boat? I am. Breaking the laws of physics, and I cannot abide that. Sure, works Alright, well, not what are you shooting at? I want a target designation. Start hard. So that fellow there? Copy that. Speaking of shark horse, I just get one shot by a shark horse. That is in time. That, uh, sounds less than ideal. The question is, I'm in a, I'm in a polo. Like how? How did he do that much damage with his 11-inch gun? If he just fires hasty at you, that's... No, it was one shot. It was literally, literally first impact killed me. Poked ya. You are the only in that pole, huh? got the ammo rack in, but... Man, it's... This is crazy. Those guns really don't have that much pin. Do? I mean, <laughs> he probably didn't hit your armor belt. You know, he probably the pen came elsewhere. They could really do with, you know how the tank, they show very detailed where the shell comes in and kills you. They could do with that in ships as well. That'd be fun. Yeah. What? You're having fun there, Debo. Thank you, Island, for being here. <laughs> That's all I can say. I am not sinking yet, but fucking sinking. Unsink real quick. Oh, I don't quite put my uh. <laughs> bum bum. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, why am I sinking? <laughs> uh, uh, what's your targeting, gunship? Him a little bit, that would be useful. But I agree, Gunship. It would be nice to have the, uh, like, the, how they killed you, so you know, like, how, what to avoid next time. Yeah. Because I, I'm genuinely curious, because it, it looked like the rounds came through the belt, like, at the waterline, where the, where the Zara has, and the Zara Polo have a shitload of armor, and I should have been able to absorb it at the range we're at. But no, it, it just went right through me. He is uh, taking water in pretty heavily, that uh, Sean Horst. Yeah, he's at 25% buoy buoyancy. Mm. Mm. Revenge. Now I got my water pump on. There we go. Good job. You know what game I'm going to re-download, Gunship? I'm going to re-download World of Warships. Don't do Never. it. Because they added Italian battleships. I want to play with the Italian battleships because Gaijin is intent on not adding them. My coworker came to me before the Christmas holiday being like, "Oh, my brother just downloaded this game. It's so cool. It's like it's called World of World of Warships." Like, oh. Oh, no, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Tell them that, uh, like, you're a noob and go play this game instead, it's better. <laughs> Told him next time he has a, a request of engineering, it won't be heard. <laughs> Your audience has been denied. Warships is not a bad game. 
No, it it's just they, they, it, it's actually a really good game. I just despise their business practices of charging you an arm and a leg for any kind of premium. That was what oh, um, stopped me from getting. No, it was like a Christmas event they had. They had a ship called the Porto Vigo, and, and if you had to like just buy it fully out or something like that, it was like something like hundred and fifty dollars or something like that. It was a ridiculous amount. It was so greedy of them. And what was annoying came was they, the they done a lot of bucks. nice graphics for it and everything, and it looked really good. But, yeah. yeah. When they, when they brought Alaska to the game at the at the low low price of eighty five dollars for the base package, I was mm. like, "Fuck you guys and everything you stand for." Because my, you know, the the turpets didn't even cost that much, right? Mm. The turpets was the turpets was like fifty dollars, and I paid for it. I bought the Alabama. I paid for that. I, I, I bought a lot of premium ships for them. Around fifty. Fifty yeah. being the most expensive thing I ever, I'd, I'd ever pay for in it as far as video game goes. But but eighty bucks for a battle cruiser. I drew the line. The only time I overpaid for anything and and I felt okay with it was when I bought the the Texas for World of Warships. Because and I actually it was the second time I bought it, so I bought it for a friend and gifted it to him because the uh they were running a promotion where 99 it was no it was 100% of the profits earned from the uh from uh, the sales of the USS Texas would go to the USS Texas for its restoration, and they actually made made good on their their promise. They they gave like eight or nine million uh, to the ship for repairs, uh, and they continued. They were so successful they continued doing that promotion up until recently when the ship went off the dry dock. So they were continually sending checks to the uh, Texas Navy Foundation in order to yeah. make sure the ship got repaired. Because the the Texas government kept taking all the, the the government money that was set aside to fix it, using it on highways instead. Like uh, Governor Abbott, uh, a couple years ago, I was actually working for the state when that happened. Um, Wait, can we took, do that in South Carolina? Where's our battleship? Yeah, yeah he took fifty six million dollars away from the uh, the that the federal government had given specifically for the purpose of repairing the ship, fifty six million. And he took that and said, no, we needed it in our highways instead, and put it on our highways. It was, yeah, uh, our highways need it. Can can we embezzle from our battleship? Fucking roads! Do we have a battleship? Uh, there was a South Carolina at one point. Where'd it go? It's scrapping it. <sighs> Damn. Actually, I think it was scrapped. I think it was there scrapped goes, uh, there goes due our to the uh, Washington Treaty. Yeah, yeah I, think, I think it was yeah scrapped during during the uh, changeover from the Washington Treaty. The in oh! That's uh that's my first. That's just damage and torpedoes. <laughs> Could you imagine if Gaijin gave the South Carolina to the U.S. in this game? Like, what do you th what do you think that would be a solid five-zero? <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't be great. I, I think I think a six zero would be more than more than fair. It's like, oh yeah, I've got these twelve inch guns, but they suck. <laughs> oh, that's a Kamuna. That's a Kamuna. Who was clapping? Let's make clear in my bowl. Behave yourself, you're on stream. Yeah. Oh, my speak bad. Of, uh, my tobacco! Speak yeah. of those matters. Tobacco, man, come on. That's a good pipe, isn't it? Yeah. It's all sophisticated. Am I gonna take a little boat to B? Little boat B? Heard? I'll go to A. And defend it with my life, like last round. <laughs> yes. Well, to be fair, you're better off defending in your ship than I'm in mine. I'm, I'm a glass cannon, but damn it, I'm a cannon. 
yeah, uh, the cannon is the back on the one, two, three is not exactly uh, <laughs> a one shotter. I've been killed by it a lot, though. Well, you've got a lifeboat on the front. Yeah. My decoration I put on. I'll take my uh, SKR today. I saw the kind That's of just safety there. right there. I know. So I know that they're probably going to have to swim at some point, so. Having a Torch lifeboat. Favorite the prepared. Yeah. Let me poke some holes in it, though. How rude. Very a uh, I fart in your general direction kind of sound. Mm. The only thing you don't get with the K, but you do get with the normally one, two, three, is depth charges. And depth charges could actually be really cool to try and get close to an enemy ship and drop next to them. I don't think that's what they were for. But that's how they can be used. Gamer logic never fails. It's the only way. <laughs> It'd be a lot of fun. I think you're absolutely right. And it does sort of have the attachment, should I say, on each side for them. So I think it's just a fail that they haven't actually put them on. Maybe I need to put in an official complaint on the guy before. But they probably will listen to me because this is a important Russian ship. It's an icon. Absolutely. A Russian icon. And say if they do not do it, I will personally write a letter to Putin Muna? about it, and then <laughs> it will be sorted. Are you trying to say that there should be depth charges on your Kamuna? No, on my one, two, three K, there should be depth charges. Fudge! Let me take a look at it, and I'll say I'll you what those. At the end of my not. stream, behind it there is room for two on each side, right? They just haven't implemented the option for them. Because you added a lifeboat, there's not enough weight for a. Uh... A lifeboat is at the front. Yeah, yeah, it's it's not balancing the boat. Yes. It's, uh, weighing down your uh, your hydrofoils. But it doesn't matter because oh, it's there a Russian tank. hydrofoil boat. Yeah. yeah, it's the one two three k. That's why it's a speedy thing. Gets the front of the boat out of the water. 97 kbh. His boats don't need to be in the water. Then they're no. not. Yeah. Does it need to be in the water to be called a boat? No. A watercraft. Enemy forces have captured a zone. It's a it's a premium. Scroll up. Oh no no I guess it's not a. Yeah there you go. He's using the A11 though right? Yeah. Okay. Mine is a premium. I see the yeah, tech free yeah, one does have it, but the premium doesn't. I think that is disgraceful. You know what else is disgraceful? This team hasn't sent a single person to come take a point. That is disgraceful. They must have removed the depth charges on the A11 for whatever reason. Right, we'll need someone to find an historical document showing the A11 with depth charges. Okay, I don't read Cyrillic, so that's not me. Debo, you're the historian. You, it's it's yeah, your job to take that read kind Cyrillic. of stuff. And find someone that does. Lady? Yeah. We'll assign our Russian to do this. We have That's yes. why we have him, right? <laughs> yes, that's right. That's why we have him. So we tolerate him and his Russianness. Ooh. I'm four kilometers away from my battleship. Full steam ahead. You know, it really sucks that you never see this premium boat in game because it's too expensive for what it is. But I think it would be nice. And it's got matcha in the name. Yeah. Rosso matcha. I still got those matcha cakes. I should go make one. They're like 
little souffles. But yeah, like, vodka flavor. I... I beat out an SKR-7. With my... This thing? Yeah. Akebono. And then took my torpedo plane and killed his backup. And he got so mad. But if you lose to an Akebono and then fail to shoot down the torpedo plane that is First not in cover. Second torpedo off. to this in a gunfight yes. period, you're crap. Yeah, no, I mean, I knew what I was doing, but an SKR-7 at close range versus Nakamoto, that's not even a contest. It ripped you up. It's not the most part of my ship anymore. Okay, I, I kill SKR-7s with this. This is my SKR-7 fighter. I'm gonna see if I can pen that Wyoming from up close. Don't forget personal. The Wubek actually does a really good job of killing the uh, Russian frigates and stuff. Wait, does the Wyoming have small guns on it? Oh, Lynch. No! Like tertiary battery. The Wyoming? Uh. I believe it does, but we'll, I'll double check that for you real fast. It looks like they have it max does. gun. The Wyoming has uh, eight uh, 76s, three inches. They've got 16 five inch guns and 12 six inch guns. Yeah, There's well, the other way around. Yeah. I am uh, 0.7 kilometers behind this Wyoming, so we'll find out what happens. What are you Just trying to do with it? Because I'm coming towards it in a PEA. And I fear that that could be a bit of an issue. Just call danger close. Okay. <laughs> uh, they, they do have uh, 76s that can be aimed up, but there are no airburst rounds on them. I think you're harassing him quite a lot if you <laughs> can see you shoot him out of that. It's funny. Okay. Right, danger close. Pulling off. Bombs away. Oh, Let's see it. Down. it's coming down. <laughs> it's coming down, the bomb is incoming. Oh, it's gonna land on his desk. Oh, 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 front row seat. Oh, that was great. I actually dropped the bomb on the other side of him, so you survived that. Right? We got a woofer. Somebody is not happy. Why is he not happy? Why can't I get radar lock on this float plane? Oh, the Makuma finally got me. Hit you in the fucking face so hard! Oh, Alright, there's a Sharon horse. Somebody sounds very happy in the background. I know. Uh, that's one of my roommates, sorry. Sharon horse going for C. Yeah. Got the Rose just hang it. Have zone. That was delightful to watch. That was Up a close. good bombing run, that does. That must have been just outside the blast radius, because I was close. Well, I was. It, the, 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 let's be fair, it's just on the other side of it. They landed. The snail doesn't seem to usually care about that. It'll kill you through buildings and stuff with the PEA bomb. True. Oh, 
Does anyone else wish that uh, they would model in the like the plane rolling on the tracks and coming out of the hangar on ships that have an, an integral hangar? Might be mean, but it's kind of like the same thing as reload animations and tanks. It'd be really cool to have. I don't think they're going to do it. I mean, like, uh, you know, like have on the, the shell popping out of the side after that. Yeah. That is neat. I do like that they've yeah. at least gone to that effort. Like, cause, you know, imagine, imagine like somebody, you're like put next to somebody in like a Zara or a Pola, and all of a sudden a, a plane just like crawls up out of the bow and you know, extends its wings and. Or the the light cruisers. It's actually stored in the superstructure at the base, so you, the door, the hangar opens up on the side, and then it would just follow a train, like the train track, around the guns all the way up to the front of the ship, and then take off. It'd be pretty cool. Uh, this Sean is down to twenty six percent. I was thinking that he's not long for this world. He's not Has, doing have well. They, have they done something to the Sean so it's not as good as it used to be? No, we're doing something to the Sharnhorst. We're shooting it with lots of guns. You're using the PK. Yeah, but like, I'm the testing answer before, to it. the PK was not like um, that effective against it. That's what I don't understand. On the on the beta, yeah, or on the on the test, yeah, but when it went live, the PK was extremely effective against it. Hmm. Oh, also, you you were focusing between a Vonderton. A PK and a Huga. Yeah, like the Huga, especially the Huga tears them apart. HE rounds or SAP rounds from the Huga hitting that thing rip it apart. Mm. And the the Marlboro, the Marlboro is enemy number one in my opinion when it comes to the the Sharn horse because the HE round doesn't even have to hit you. It ha it just has to land in the water next to you and it acts as a freaking bomb and you start flooding. Has anybody got a plane to send to sea? I do not. Uh, I wish I did. I've got a seaplane tender, but uh, no seaplanes. Talk about your tone, eh? Yes. Endlessly salty about that. Does it not have seaplanes yet? Nope. I haven't modeled that particular model of seaplane yet. It's gotta come, it got like a whole... What, was that steam plane like more of like an attacker? Uh, uh... Kind of? I mean, it looks capable. I know I know that they had one that had the ability to use torpedoes. It's big. I wouldn't run it past them. It's... It's like the size of a B-7. Something is peeping out on the left side of the island. This is done with more thunder for the day. I've accomplished my mission. We've done what we need to do. Uh -huh. On fire. Okay. Ooh, that's a ninety percent. I'm also sinking. Well, that's not so good. No. I'm gonna stop putting out this fire for a minute. I need to make some reliance, which means I can't play the, the Italian Navy. Because their premiums just are not good money makers. Oh god, I'm really sinking. Where did they even hit? Oh my gosh. They blew up my torpedo tubes that don't have torpedoes in them. The oh no, that was my rack. That was B turret's rack. That's what happened. Okay. What are you driving, Death? Huga. Okay, just one Huga down. I don't know why I asked. You're always in a Japanese boat. <laughs> because they're fun. Like we can tell. <laughs> I'm sinking! <laughs> I guess that's true to real life. Yep. Uh, so instead of telling me that B turret's out of ammo, it just says it has a 105 second reload. 
they're going to the other side of the ship and bringing them over one round at a time. With such dedication. It's like that scene from Battleship. It's so I'm ridiculous. really curious yeah. what they're gonna do next time, like on the balance repair cost. Because what 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 are they gonna put the PK down as? Uh, twenty thousand silver lines. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna have it. Yeah. I think not. Are you still on your crusade to get it above a hundred thousand? I'm doing pretty damn good at the moment, if I must say so. Oh, they actually are bringing a shell from the other powder room. It's 38 seconds now. You I'm so proud of my crew. Position. They're such good crew members. Wait for range to get measured on this Bogami. Might be a Susie. I'm just gonna set him on fire with the second just a Is that a boss? Yes, it's a boss. I don't like the boss. Gonna switch target to this young boss here. Mostly deaf in one ear, so we, we, we wanted to see if, if that would help her. Well, it didn't. It didn't help her, but because she's, she's deaf in one ear, she can't. She can't wear earbuds because she, then she can't hear, right? Because everything's. You know, all you have your music coming out of in one ear, but then you can't hear it coming out of the other side. So we got her these, and now I think she's gonna like them. That's it. Uh, the the aftershocks, because the the, the bone conducting, they uh, they don't go in your ear, and you can actually. Like, use them and, and hear people and hear the world around you while you're listening to your music. Do you mean it's a, uh, it's like a hearing aid that doesn't cost, uh, what a medical device would? It doesn't, en it's like a hearing aid, but it does, it uses the same, uh, technology, but it doesn't enhance hearing. Like, there's no, there's no ambient sound enhancement with it. Ow. I just got pooped by a Hugo. But yeah, it used, it used the same concept where it rests, rests up against your cheek and vibrates into your into your bone so that you can hear. Yeah. Just have a train of crew members constantly moving shells because the reload's actually caught up. They were like, don't worry, sir, we will get the ammo. Or we will die trying. Probably. Just killed a guy, so I believe that it's probably a guy in a Sean horse that decided to spawn in there. Anybody else wish that they would have a different, like maybe not a talisman, but but something else that you can buy? You can you can either have the talisman or that, and it it lets you instead of uh, 
turning your thing into a premium like XP thing. It does Silver Lions instead. They'd never let that happen. No, they wouldn't. I know what you're saying, but that that way you could make any vehicle a gold vehicle, and it just wouldn't have that because people would so abuse it. To pay for it. They you make it more it. expensive to put it on the vehicle, like so, like make it a make it sixty bucks to put it on a t on a top tier vehicle. Mm, no, it'd be a slippery slope. People wouldn't like it. They would have a lot of backlash for that. I think. Uh, I think I think a lot a lot of people would would happily play because there's a lot of texture vehicles that don't get played just because they don't they don't make any self reliance. Like, yeah, they, but can no you see somebody no make a, the R three into a gold vehicle? I mean, I mean, they, 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 it it would just go bad. What about me? I'll I'll, I'll put a, a gold one on the Paris Communa. I mean, how would that look? <laughs> just... There you go. Boom. But you can't because you've already you've already abused the other thing. Remember? Hmm. You get so, either or. So, so let's say I made the Paris chief. Communa into a gold ship. It means I got a repair yeah. cost of two thousand. And I double my. No, 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 no. Nothing like it doesn't affect your repair cost. All it affects is how much silver lions you earn in game. Right. So currently that's like six hundred ninety, right? So that would be what twelve hundred. Yeah. <laughs> based on this, the ship is based on how much damage it deals. So what did I earn in the last battle? 56,000, so that would be 100. Previous 41, 40, 90, 38. I mean, that because would be it's, bad. Because it's going to get that way anyway. Like, they're going to they're gonna release premium battleships. There are going to be premium battleships. Yes, the, the, undoubtedly there will be premium. But I mean, Sean yeah. Horse has a sister ship, right? So that would be a contender. Yeah, yeah. There are there are going to be premium nice premium now, battleships. Called. Like like the ships we have now are nowhere near the the end of the be all end all. They're not going to be our our ten point or whatever anywhere close to it. So we're going to get premium versions of these. You're probably going to get Sevastopol sister ship as a premium. You reckon? Yeah, more than likely. Blimey. Charn horse just will not die. I just, I just wish they would give the ability to turn any normal tech tree vehicle into a, uh, to a silver lion making machine. Just, just to be able to make silver lions with it, not necessarily RP, but silver lions, because that's mm -hmm. what I, that's what I hurt for the most. I can get RP with anything. I don't, I don't need premiums to get RP, but I do need. I, I play premium vehicles 90% of the time these days, just so that I can afford to buy vehicles. Target. Because regular tech tree stuff just you don't make enough silver lions. Just play the PK, get it, play it. I'll make the silver lines. And, and if you play the, if you play the F4, the American one, F4E, and you 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 do a little bit of ground target work, you're gonna make money in that plane, surely. You can't do that anymore. That that's no longer a viable option. It was. It used to be. But they've uh, they've pretty much taken away how much money you make from that, and on top of that, good luck getting to the to the battlefield and, and doing that with MiG-23s coming across the a deck using their uh, IR all aspects at you. Yeah, the the days the days of being able to make money at top tier quite well or have uh, gone bye bye unless you're playing Russian. Mm-hmm. But then get the um, I don't know F4C, F5C. I had, I had the oh, big three threes. Yeah. 
No, I have I have both make twenty threes and both make twenty sevens. If I, but even then, you don't make that much. But you really don't make that much from from ground pounding. It, they've just kind of killed the rewards from it. A couple, a couple patches ago, when they did their major economy thing, remember everybody complained that you know we don't make any money anymore. Mm -hmm. And that, they, they did it because they want people to buy Silver Alliance. That's why. They want people to buy the premium vehicles and their and their Silver Alliance. Thunder Chief does make me good money, I will admit. But it could make me more if it was a if it was a, a half premium. <laughs> half premium. Uh, right. Well, that's probably why they don't do it, because the chance that people are going to find something that is meta one way or another. I mean, I mean, all all you would have to do, it would, it, they wouldn't be losing any money; they'd be making money. And that's all. That's all they care about is how much money do they make. Mm -hmm. and they'd be making money because you can sell it for the same price. You can sell the that you know talisman. We'll, we'll call it talisman two. For the same price as a regular talisman, and people will buy it. Like for a, you, know, you, you could sell it for the price of what a premium vehicle of that of that BR would cost, and people would buy it. Just be like, oh yeah, I don't necessarily want the extra RP, but I do want the extra silver alliance. The nice little flotilla we have here. I could definitely tell you right now, Gunship, if uh, if I had that option, my entire f uh, four, actually every Italian fighter plane that I have, Italian prop, would have that on it. Mm. I would buy it right now. Ah, every see, Italian there's something you the can game. earn money on. You could just go and play your G55. Right, but that's that's the problem. What we're talking about? It's literally just go play this one plane in the entire tech tree. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to play it anymore. Yeah. I played the shit out of it. I'm done with it. I want to play the planes that I like. The, like the, the, the 205N2 is one of my favorite planes. The 205N. Uh, like I love those aircraft. But they don't make you any money. Mm -hmm. The G55 makes you a shitload of money. But it is literally the only thing in the tech tree that, that makes you money. That's that's where they've that's where they've made they made their biggest mistake, and that that's how we get rid of meta. That's how we get rid of the 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 freaking twenty vehicle meta that we have in War Thunder. We should just give them the option to say, well, the premium vehicles make give you all this RP and they give you all this Silver Lions, but if you if you want to play this vehicle, you can pay yeah. just a little bit and unlock uh, one or both. You know, hell, even make it make it three, they can unlock both of them. You just have to pay twice, right? And you can unlock both premium functions for that vehicle, and then bam, there you go. Everything's a premium, and then nobody can cry about Wallet Warriors anymore. <laughs> when everything's premium, nothing is. Exactly. Yeah, that's, that's, just, that's also the problem you get, so. They're gonna balance the crap out of, uh, out of repair costs to compensate. Yeah. They just need to get rid of repair costs as a whole. It is a stupid concept that that does not. Well, it, the, the repair cost stopped the use of bots, right? No, re repair cost is is solely a function that they that they have in there so that people are forced to spend money to, in order to buy self reliance. It or, is an to, effective to way to, yeah. to counter bots, though. Yeah, it's I just, think that's what, what it's. It's saying. just. I think it's rather clunky and outdated. If I that's think that's what I think that's why they did. You know, when we had these uh, a whatever number of bots in the we call, that we call we call alpha bots, right? I think that was why they took away the money earned from being shot at or soaking them, taking damage. When that disappeared, those bots disappeared. I think that's what they did it for. Could be wrong. I think that's that was. Uh, was a driver for that. I don't think it's fair, for example, in tanks, where you have a heavy tank and it doesn't, because it should. I think y'all vastly overestimate the amount of bots that that exist in War Thunder. 
Well, it was and starting to become a bit of a problem when you had like, you know, as many bots to side as you had real players. I'm shooting at something and I'm not hitting it for. Uh, but the the, the bot, the bots that they're talking about, Genshin, are actually the player user user accounts. You won't, you're not able to tell the difference between a bot and a uh, and a player. With, with with the bots that that the everybody's complaining about for sim like they literally they, they create bot accounts and, and with real names and they're, they're essentially players and they go out and they make money when you look at ones that say Timmy or whatever the fuck they are those, those things those are just bots that uh, the game auto populates because there's not enough players in the match hmm. but the the player account bots are the ones that are a problem they are but they're, they're I think everybody's vastly overestimating the amount of player account bots that there are in the game. Well, that's because we have repair costs. If you take away repair costs, yeah, people okay. are going to use those things. What's up, boys? Hey, how are you doing? I'm Not that I like repair costs. I think it's a really lazy way of handling the problem. I'm thinking of getting armor. 74% off. You know, repair costs exist as a way to, to nerf players from being able to use the things that, that kill Russian vehicles. <laughs> Cry havoc and let slip the Russian bias. Exactly. Remember, every, anytime something gets really good at killing Russian vehicles, they, they make its repair costs extremely high. There's a Dante over here. Ooh. We should uh, eliminate it. We should let it live. Got a Russian. Is it a Russian thing in here? Take him down! Okay, he needs to disappear. Why is the Sharnhorst fully broadside to the enemy? Oh! That Dante is a little squishier than I thought it was gonna be. Attack the enemy! You got it hasn't been given the Russian uh, coat of paint. Mm. I will kill them all, Daft. I'm gonna try to kill this Yuga with my uh, not Yuga. Pop the brute. Two There's two of them. What if we all brought Yugas out? They kill Sharnhorse? That'd be a great yeah. idea. That sounds like a great idea. Well, we've been killing Sharnhorse, but the uh, target rich environment here includes a lot of 12 gun Italian built Russian cruisers. Mm. And not cruiser battleships. Sorry, PK. Never mind, I'm not actually sorry, but I'm gonna pretend I am. What do you think, Daft? You think the, the February March patch will have uh, Italian battleships? F 16s. F 16s. <laughs> Drop tank. I don't know if we're quite there yet. You know what? I would really like to see. I want to see more of the Century series planes because I think there's uh, there's still that's what I've been add. saying yeah. for so long. I was yeah. so happy we got the Thunder Chief. Yeah, I, w I want the 102 and the 106. The 102 is going to be so useless, but they're slowly building a place in the game for it. The 101 would be nice too. The Voodoo is just such a goofy. Or in a hurry, why? What are you doing? He's playing with his plane, so that's why he's doing all that. You know what's, you know what's funny though is like out of the whole Century series, the 101 is the only one that's not built on the same like fuselage frame. Like, the Voodoo is the only one that's really truly a different aircraft. Well, you 
go. I can't AP you. My rear, I think, out there. Not sure about the other one, whether that's a Potava or the Dante. on the enemy team is here in a Sendai. That poor soul. Okay. Pity him not, he knows what thinking. he is doing. He's probably I a bad ass. Points. It's not a good thing. He's gonna be the highest scoring player on the, on the enemy team. Watch. He's gonna so single-handedly win the game. God, please tell me that you. Nope, nope, it's shooting at me. I'm turning off. Goodbye, chef. All right, torpedo away. Tried to actually like toss it to get it farther. The closest, uh, closest Emden already has a torpedo on the way. Or are you gonna go after player's gunship? Somebody attack him! Uh, I think Ow. we've got a shown horse down there that's been yes. put up. I think I'd have to go for him. Juga, I'm very upset with your decision to kill me. So I will come kill you. Right to kill a Huga. Awesome. Do you think I'm gonna need all of it? P is for plenty, so use all of it. P is for plenty. still alive. Be the rest of this match for me trying to kill the AI fleet just to get us ahead. Take him down. The only need is two W's and I've got my task done. I have the damage by then. 1,700 oh, Yeah, I'm almost there. So if you could cross map wow. some of those AI ships, that would be greatly appreciated. What are you playing, Debo? 
Five, seven. Ooh, that's an attractive concept. But I've been playing six, seven the whole time. Oh crap, that is, is that a hell enough shooting at me? That is a hell enough shooting at me. This is definitely the best time I've had in battleships in a long time. Who's uh who's playing battleships? If you send me an invite, I'll tag along with you. I would do normally, but the thing is, we got three and we are kind of running. I don't know when we get to four, we're gonna be queuing forever. No. I could join Debo and tag you in. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually done with Worth Under this match. I said I was before, but now I really am. Oh, yes. I bought that. I need to take a break from it. Get a little frustrated. And go play Halo. I'm gonna play Bannerlord actually. I'm playing a lot of Bannerlord lately. Yeah, I haven't had any. I'm busy. I noticed that. I've got, every time they do they do a new update, I play it for a couple of weeks, right? Mm -hmm. Just to, to fill it out. The update's not live, but they, they uh. No, so normally I wait till it goes live, but the the beta one had a whole bunch of new interesting things. Just good quality of life updates, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna. I like quality of life updates for games. Like oh, Medieval Village see. added third person view, which I thought was awesome. Oh, I'm not. You killed that West Fall now shooting at what? Bannerlord added first person view. We've got a guy out there. Take him down. Well, sorry, my new laptop's VR ready. I need to get a a, a headset. Oh, Quick, guys, what do you re which one do you recommend? Headsets. Yeah, the VR headset. Oh. The goggles. I don't know, that argument, uh, I built my computer to be VR ready and I never ended up doing VR. Mm, I would say that I would, I would, the most compatible you can probably get is either goes with the index from Steam, right, because that will always be well supported, and I think that is really good. But if you want top of the range, I will go for the latest HTC one. But I have the one, the, the pro one, and I, I have the satellites, right? So you have to have them fixed in the room and it takes a little while to set up. I think they're really good, but I think they now have some that do what's called inside out tracking, right? So the goggles just looks at the surrounding and it tracks that way. And that's a far easier solution to deal with and a lot more portable. Um, so that's yeah, probably a what I would look at. Movie. Yeah, what I'll do if I was you. Uh, also, the index, I quite like, uh, I think the, the handheld controllers are better or more supported, if you like. So, if I have, if I have the, the goggles, do I need, like, a, a head check or two for, for flight? Do you need a what, sorry? Do you need, I think like, that's the... what he was just describing, was the, that that handles your head tracking. Yeah, because because the uh, you know in War Thunder and Sim, some, a lot of the especially the jets, you kind of have to look, you have to like lean above your your cockpit to look at look at the nose when you're landing. I don't want to bind oh, like, that to a button. I just want to be able to move my head and just be like like. No, they have an option for how to reset your head, if you know what I mean. So if you want to do that, all you do is just move your head down click the reset button and then automatically you're kind of cheating a bit inside the plane and looking down on things. Okay, I've got the torpedoes incoming. This is not good. Alright, we got yeah, that was not making me actually. any money. Oh, I got the feeling you're gonna eat one. So, have you uh, have you enjoyed your uh, non-bombing activities in the Thunder Chief Debo? It's, it's a decent fighter, uh, but I I I use it for its its purpose, which is bomb, 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 bomb. And 
can still let it okay. Plus, I really, really, really like this new uh, the skin, the unpainted that it comes with. Matches the F four is unpainted for the C. Yes, it does. I think it also matches an F one hundred unpainted as well. Nope. It matches the F one hundred in everything but flight capability. Got the same battle rating, same missile. The F one hundred's a better dogfighter, but it's not it's not as fast. Yeah. But as far as dogfighting goes, the F one hundred is significantly better. Well you're not gonna find yourself doing a lot of dogfighting when you're fighting A five C's, are you? You can do a lot of running and gunning. Yeah. I wish you found I don't, yourself I don't have I don't, I don't have the upgrades for it yet, uh, so it, it still it still rocks and sways a lot in flight. I don't know if we, if we get the upgrades for it if it does it any better. But uh, uh, these these big booms are nice. I got the big booms last. I got them first because this this thing serves one purpose for me and one purpose only. Acquire my MiG my MiG twenty three. You only really need the seven fifties, and you're fine. I mean, even as uh, the stuck bombs, you can take out a complete pace with that. So, so while while these don't kill uh, three bases, these these don't completely kill two bases. They do. Who's blowing in the microphone? One nut. One nut. Get your yeah. face away from the microphone. Yeah, well, the well, the three Ks don't necessarily kill two two full bases. They do do just the same amount of uh, explosive damage. So you get the same amount of ba uh, base damage done with three bombs. Also, you're not gonna most matches get the opportunity to bomb two separate bases, just because there are so many 105s out there right now. I know. Somebody get mad at me do. today because they, they, if, you know everybody starts off and they, they start calling attention to the designated grid square, and most of the time, I'm I'm gonna say okay, cool, you called it. Except when I hit the tab button and I see that our entire team is attackers, I'm sorry, Mr. Harrier. It's first come, first serve. Like if it's if it's five to six, like we'll call it six. If there's six attackers on the team. And people and people call out their bomb points. I'll, I'll I'll honor that. But when all 12 to 16 players are in attackers, I'm not honoring shit. Because if you don't if you don't get a bomb off now, you're not getting one off. Right. My first game of the day, there was a guy loitering for the entire match. It was just me and him left on our team. And he was loitering until another base appeared because he didn't get the first round of bases. I was I've like, done that. oh, this guy is just going to hang me out to dry. And between the two of us, we actually brought it back. Nice. Actually, I guess that wasn't my first match of the day. It was like my third match because my first match was the one where I had to kill everyone. Uh, Alright, gunship. We need one more win. Okay. We can handle that. I just finished a special task. I have to buy another. No. I will probably go make dinner. Well, it'd be good to do one more match anyway. I don't think I will stuff for a night. I long finish what I need to do. This is good. Because we're going to win, right? Yeah, I think we have won all of them so far. 
and my screen is just saying victory all of them so yeah it's highly yeah, my last defeat was in the 105 Oh yeah, I did a lot of dis disappointing green earlier. I had a streak of like six defeats. Seven. Good. That's mean, Debo. What? To say you screwed that he has. Yes, yes, yes. It's always good to disappoint green, because it makes him play better. I was so intent on getting more progress to my 104, my, my F4J, and I should have just sucked it up and played something different. I, that's, I've had to, to change up everything I want to do right now, like the, the F4J, it's stock, I have, it, I have it, it's basically stock, and it's not worth playing at the moment. I just I want to have it ready for when Germany starts suffering because they get a bunch of MiG 23s. Okay, so just look up your laptop on that link, Devo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looks really nice. Yeah. Yeah, 300 hertz is pretty crazy, but. And I, and yeah, I this is a full HD screen, right? So, and by by the end of the year, I'm gonna I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna upgrade it to 64 gigs of RAM. And I'm gonna I'm gonna put uh, it's got two SSD slots in it or two uh, M.2 slots in it. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna replace at least at least one of them. I'm gonna put either a one terabyte or a two terabyte in there. And I don't know if I, if I'm gonna change the original. I might leave the original at 512 just so that I. It, keeps me from putting things on it, right? And that'll just be my operating system and main and main drive uh, storage facility. You need more. You always need more, but Okay. So we'll move, more. move one load up in a different location because it's like microphone is terrible. But isn't he on our team? Yeah, he is. But, but he's not here. He, Such is the he's, power he's, of gunship. His microphone was constantly fluctuating like somebody was blowing in a bottle or something. PM turned down, so... It's muted. That one was, you know, your mic was terrible. It, it kept sounding like somebody was blowing in a bottle. Weird, it was muted. Right, okay. Making the noises. Yeah, made really muted noises. Yeah. My bad, I didn't even know it was muted. Yeah, yeah so when, uh, I, when I saw that for 1400, I, I just had to pull the trigger, you know? I, at that, if I was standing and looking for a gaming laptop, yeah, I and, think that and that and that happened. Like you'd be like, yeah, now. <laughs> uh, so, I'm excited. I get it on Monday. So Monday is gonna be. I'm gonna be tearing down my. This Sunday, I guess I'll probably tear down my desktop and move it out. Yeah. And Monday is gonna be installation day. Lots of new things are going to be installed onto that computer on Monday. What happened to your shit stops? I got racked by Huga. <laughs> I think you did. Engaging the enemy. You should be shooting at these Kamunas, not the Huga. That's fratricide. Cover me. Because you know the Huga like is uh, more squishy. I'd like it if more of our team got in the circle.
It's interesting, it doesn't have a front facing camera. That's odd. Oh, the laptop? Hmm. No, it doesn't, does it? What, it's a no webcam? I don't know. I, mean, I guess they figure gamers aren't social. Yeah, gamers don't want you to see our faces. Well, either that or gamers always use special webcams anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah. The 17 has it, but they didn't, they didn't have the 17 in this configuration. So. Performance is more important than the camera. So. Exactly. I know. I know the the 17 inch version has a, has a camera. It has the bigger mm. keyboard, everything on it. Mm. But what, what kind of laptop is this? This is the Rog Strix. Oh, I've got the 17 model from a couple years back. Yeah. This the this version is the uh, the AMD Advantage. So, I, I pulled the trigger on the AMD Advantage version, which has the 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 RX 680. And the, the Ryzen 9 5900 in it. I went to slap uh, pretty hard. Just for, just for, a little bit less than 1500. Nice. Oh yeah. You get something on par with a thir with a 3080, but because it's not an Intel, <laughs> you get it for half the price. Yeah, I'm due for an upgrade. Yeah, I I had to upgrade. All my computers needed an upgrade. My laptop needed an upgrade for work. Uh, my desktop needed I mean, needed an upgrade for personal and everything. So I just went ahead and pulled the trigger on this as a all-in-one. I mean, the thing is, 17 is nice for the bigger screen, but it's also quite heavy. It's a chunk to move around. And like I said, like this is for for now. This is my total my total system replacement. So it's literally going to be docked on the desk over here on the side, and I'm going to have everything running through my beautiful 32 inch curved screen. Mm. Like it, I'm just going to dock it onto the side of the desk over here, and then run everything. But I'll probably leave it open so I can have a second screen for the laptop. But. Yeah, but it's not going to be the main focus point. It'll be nice and portable, but it doesn't really necessarily need to be the main focus point. I need to kill this Brooklyn. Got my dad a curved monitor for Christmas. He's really happy with it. Contracting. Squadron has curved screens and they keep making fun of us because we don't have it, but we set them up And you set them up <laughs> Even though it wasn't our job, it's like yeah, these are nice screens and They're like well you could cross train into contracting because they're super low man. I was like no nah, you deal with math all day. I'm good Yeah. Like I uh I used to make fun of the curved screen a lot, but after after I when my uh, last monitor broke, via I was moving, I was rearranging uh, my desk and a couple other pieces of furniture in the room, and the speaker fell off of uh, a shelf and hit my monitor. It crushed it, so I had to buy a new one. And when I was doing it, uh, I was able to, I was actually able to get a really nice one from Monoprice at a at a cheap rate because they they just happened to be having this amazing sale, right? So now I have this awesome curved screen, and it's. It's hilariously good. And I'll never go back. The only, the only, only thing I hate about better. it is... They're only gonna get better. They're yeah, they're only gonna they're get better, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the only thing I don't like about the curved screens is that uh, when you're using one for an extended period of time and then you go and look at like a straight laptop screen, it it tricks your eyes, and so all of a sudden it looks like the straight laptop screen is, is curved, but inwards, where the center of the screen is forward, and the edges of the screen are outward. Because your eyes get, are I adjusted to... Trained, yeah, so. yeah. And it's hmm, so weird. I honestly thought my I broke my laptop the first time that I, that I looked at it after looking at my desktop before. Ugh. Poor Brooklyn. 
just keep finding him. Every time he takes a random volley of shells and they go off and do something else. Gunship, we're not winning. What's happening? I well, know. It's because we're on this side and people are. Attention to the designated grid square. What are they doing? If we don't do something fast, the enemy will win. Nobody out here. Getting shelled by something unpleasant. I got the kill right before the game over screen. That's nice. Quiet, quiet. There we go. Alright, you're taking care of Mr. Sh. Alright, I gotta help my girlfriend get the groceries in. Be right back. Something behind the shelf. The enemy ship sank. Uh, it's gonna be an expensive match for me because this is the first time I've lost the Huga. Both times. I'll probably just not repair it and drop to a lower tier. Or, you know, finish my naval test tomorrow. Except we're gonna win, so. Oops. It'll be fine. I'm back. Marbled. Hugh is still alive. Can you point him out? Because I'm in the PA. No, there's, there's no point in him. But I think you'll know what he means. Just have to wait to see the guns firing. He's the other side of the lighthouse, kind of between the lighthouse and the and the big suspension bridge. He's over bridge. that damp TIT heavy cruiser. Yeah, I think that's him. Yeah. Shit horse. If we don't do something fast, the enemy will win. But, Sean Horse, my bad. So I talked to a guy here in my stream who's saying that <laughs> naval is really expensive. Well it is if you're playing American high 
tier cruisers because the repair costs for those are, are ridiculous. Yeah, I've pretty well stalled on getting yeah. that research. You're, you're far better playing 5.0 American, and that way you'll, you can still research and hopefully get what you need, but it'll cost a lot less. And all the Omahas are honestly pretty fun. Yeah. Is that ship dead now? Uh, the Huga? No, he's by the fort. Okay. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I'm getting smacked hard, so I'm going back into hiding. Oh, what's happening? Plane. Stabilized. I see where he is. Okay. Sing that's on his way. Desk or deck, should I say? Nicely done. Oh, it's Rowan! Sorry! <laughs> oh, you know that guy? Yeah. <laughs> I feel no sympathy for him. He killed me. I really don't like that the Setsu has 50 caliber guns and 45 caliber guns. Just pick one. This isn't a pre dread That's a Sharnhorst out there, isn't it? We need to put more pressure on the enemy. They're winning. That's correct. I don't have a hexagon battleship. I can shoot at you now. Where are you guys? Oh, he shut out my bridge, and my bridge is on fire, so I don't get control back ever. I'm in the air, so mark a battleship. Mm. Thank you. Please. Destroy the target. Done. That's a battle cruiser.
Scharnhorst is at 96%. Babe, can you move that? Now it's like right. Hi Daft, how are you? Hi. How is Naval today? Been good. Been winning lots of battles, but we are struggling a bit at the moment. Hmm. What we'll team that won't get in the circle. Six seven, but I'm probably gonna eat dinner after this. Hmm. Bombs are where? Dinner? Oh wait, I guess. I guess I woke up a little late. Wing overload, Later. huh? I'm um, headed to dinner. Like, I just got done eating breakfast. Your puny little Russian torpedo means nothing to my battleship. What about a long water? lance? Would a long lance mean anything to your battleship? It would probably mean a lot. Me with a depth charge. Okay. Hi. I want to grind for my Sean Horst. At the same time, I ain't gonna get like any damage at that BR, and I'm not gonna do very well at that BR either. Or it's sinking. I keep yep. suppressing it. Sap. Why are there US di uh, torpedo bombers at rank 3? Use my high rate of fire then. Okay, my Sensu has free repairs still. Oh, this aircraft carries a torpedo. I didn't know that. Choose a crew. Alright, well, thanks for the games, guys. I'll uh, be seeing y'all later. I now have my torpe uh, torpedo bomb. I'll be getting off as well to eat dinner. Gunship, you have a good day. Everyone have a good day. Yeah, you Bye. take it easy. How is it? Oh, it's, uh, it's almost... It's almost three o'clock. is off and is off. I think I'm gonna stop now. Hold the uh, night. Oh, some good games though. Okay. Sleep on well, gunship. Yes, thank you very much. How are y'all doing today? Pretty good, Okami, you? 
Yeah, I just got into... I just shot down three planes in quick succession in Air Simulator. Mm-hmm. How's Devo today? 